remix. Let's talk about feature scaling. So feature scaling is one of the most important steps in data pre-processing. But before we actually get into what feature scaling is, let's talk about what a data set is. So a data set is nothing but a collection of rows and columns where each row represents a unique item or an entity and all the columns represent the attributes or features of the rows. So for instance, if you take a look at this housing prices data set, each row here represents a house and all the features or all the columns like room, bedroom, space, furniture, etc. represent the attributes or features of each house. Now this data set is typically used for a regression analysis to predict the housing prices in a given locality. Let's take a closer look at the range of values in each of the columns. So for instance, if you look at the space column, its values range from 13 to 530, whereas the values in the room column range from 1 to 14. So there could be a totally different column whose values range from 0 to 100,000. For example, if you're looking at the distance to reach the nearest hospital can be represented in feet. So its values could range from zero to 100,000 feet. Now there could be a totally different column that says the time taken to reach the closest library whose values could range from five to 20 minutes. Now you see there are two fundamental problems here. One is each of the columns have a different range of values and then they are all in different units. So one column is in meter square, whereas the other column is in feet and, and there's another column that is in hours and minutes and seconds and so on. So we as humans fundamentally understand the differences between different units and what they mean in terms of the range. But computers or machines or machine learning algorithms do not understand units or ranges as well. So if you actually take this data set as it is and pass it on to your machine learning algorithm, what it's going to do is it's going to consider the column with the largest range or the largest variance as the strongest feature and it's going to bias your model and render your model inaccurate. So in order to fix that, you need to bring all your features into a standard range of values so that your model does not bias any particular feature as the strongest one and gives equal importance to all the features. This is what feature scaling is all about. That is to bring down all your features to a standard range so that your model treats all of the features equally. Considering this example of housing prices, if you do not apply feature scaling to your data set, the machine learning algorithm is going to consider either the latitude or the longitude as the uh, strongest influences of the prices of the houses because they have a larger range. But in reality, it could be the number of rooms that influence the housing prices uh, uh, in that locality. There are a bunch of feature scaling techniques available out there, but here's an example of one of those feature scaling techniques called normalization, where you basically crunch your range between zero and one. So what looks like this before feature scaling now looks like this after the feature scaling or after the normalization has been done. So now let me just list down to you all the different feature scaling techniques and uh, we will look at code examples and how each of them work in a later video. It is also important to note that feature scaling actually helps you with computation by making it very fast because it's quite simple. It's easier to do computations on smaller numbers than doing computations on larger numbers. So especially if you're considering uh, of using neural networks, then make it a point to feature scale your data set so that your computations are very fast. So that brings me to the end of this video on feature scaling. Um, more videos to come later on. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.